Hey, what's happening? Daylight savings. If I put this up today, I'm on the GoPro 10. Do some videotaping for my adventure channel. I'd work the overnight, so come down to Roseland Park here to do some videotaping to kind of kind of a cool park here in Edina off of Crosstown. Really nice, really big. Just finally saw someone here. A little trucker behind me, so. Day three videos. I my other, I did a video at, uh, it's called Roslyn Park. Roslyn. Ro yeah, Roslyn. And uh, we have a water park up here. It's a, it's the very uh, said trail that's the central one over there on the other side is kind of nice too as well as the skating rink over there. So kind of their central park is like an Hopkins. So just doing some adventures here in the winter time on the 12th day of March 2023. Begging season is seven months away. People start begging for asking for money here. Officially, the holiday season starts November first here, right? It's already March. St. Patty's Day coming. So let's I, I as I cruise along here. In the great state of Minnesota. See snows in the background. Let's talk about the um, Chet Zumach Black Eye, right? The uh, beat down. I had uh, Mr. Adam on, Corey, right? On my New World Order. You know, it's a fun thing to do. You screw around with your voice changer, and he came on, gets all mad, runs off. I did a uh, one with uh, money, you know. Hit the hit money right or short, whatever. And parlaying them in. I, I, it's fun to follow that drama. As as I, I owned Steel Toll Tarjo when they were over on Twitch and they got kicked off. Like getting fired from Burger King. Now he's here on YouTube and I told this to Chad. You know he he had, remember when he had his Vikings hat on, head down. He was the Arnie guy. Remember that? Remember that bit? Looking down, thinking he was Arnie's Ar 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 Howard Stern behavior. Remember that? I remember that all too well. And I called. Uh, um, Steele told the imbecile because I couldn't pronounce his last name and I called him the Nimrod and my name my nickname were on there for a long time and I call his beautiful alleged wife 8 out of 10 right and uh, no one likes onions likes to put her up there all the I get talking about her but that's kind of weird to have her on there but whatever and I dick ride I get it too as well but like I said this is what I made my job um, you know, he calls my little show once per yeah, it's a little show. I've been podcast for 13 years, coming up here in about two weeks on Blog Talk. I guess he for 15 years. We're happy for him. The inception of podcasting. And it's just funny to watch these idiots, these washed up, you know, it's Red Bar, who one time it bitched about, still told it, mentioned that people like myself can do a podcast, which I do on my on, in my office. On my, my Alicia, um, mixer with my headset, I can make a phone call. He'd hated that. that I, I don't have, to, I don't need to walk into a uh, KQ92 here. Tom Bernard now is on 7 to 10 on on a well, app no one cares about, right? So the Red Bar guy, I get it. I has my guest, but I don't know. I've only heard about him. Opie and Anthony, you hear, you see those guys bitch on him all the time. You know, anybody can anybody can do a video in their car like this, look in the camera, anybody can do a podcast, just have a have a person as a parasite along with as long as you have a cockroach. The bottom line is with all the babbling going on here. I just see the um, the uh, fighting for listeners and I don't care what Chad said, the bit for a while in my mind gets old is showing eight out of ten the whole time looking for listens. And I don't care what he says, if I'm a stand up comedian I'm a band. You put your stuff up, right? You videotape and you put it up on YouTube and people want to see you before they book you, right? I don't care what Chad says. Nimrod. I see you all the time on YouTube putting up their clips. There's some girl. She's a brunette. She's a pretty good looking woman. I see her, her little bit she does on TikTok. Hey, she's funny. If I was to go see her, I'd go, hey, she's funny. And he thinks it's garbage. That I'm sorry, but if I'm going to hire this comedian, this guy, and I Google him, I, I see this guy being a weird guy harassing a woman. So what would happen if they go right at some bar, he would harass the woman there? I don't know. I You are your past, right? You're who you run with. But I'm far from being a stand-up comedian. It's not that tough to walk into it. And, uh, I've done a few open mics way back when. Walk up there. I read, I travel, I meet people. 
uh, have a conversation with a crowd and just talk about daily events. You know, you can rip on Trump, rip on Biden, have a light political touch to it, have some fun, but without the Effenheimer of, you know, Corey comes on, he can't go on a conversation without 10 words to Effenheimer, Effenheimer this, Effenheimer that, and I get it, I know how to swear, I totally understand that. But it's just, it incredibly makes me laugh that, uh, he thinks for some reason that's a great bit because I guess that one day I listened off and on Friday he was racing for likes with those two guys. I get it. But if that's what he's going to do is sit in his house in Las Vegas, and if Corey thinks that's humor, I feel sorry for him. But all I see is a bunch of washed up comedians looking for drama and listens. And they only go so far. You know, uh, again, new music doesn't go anywhere, but I still like good music. People, that's why people redo movies all the time. They recycle bits. You know, that's what they do. You know, you're only as good as your last podcast. I've never done the same two podcasts. I do videos in my car. I do a straight video. I've done some on my phone lately, some editing for fun. But this is more fun in the car or I'm sitting in the car, whatever it may be. But it's just funny to see all these washed up real radio guys now on YouTube looking to make money. And I don't, I don't care what he says. You can make it quicker on Spreaker because Spreaker is a audio podcast. And I get YouTube is free to do your stuff. You'll make it quicker on Spreaker. Like I said, 60 bucks a month, give or take. And I don't really try overly that hard. I do my weekly NFL one, which is my big one. I do an NHL, NASCAR, Bitch for Radio, Fear Mongering. Whatever I make, I make. I don't ask for any money, no donations. I get paid through my uncle. For, I monetize my mind and my mouth. But it's just sad to see these grown-ass men fighting over, over views and listens and make up this drama, this, 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 I don't know, who knows, he got his ass whipped. Corey said there was no, no um, uh, cop report, whatever, I guess it's in Florida. And I saw yesterday some uh, podcaster, I think he killed him, went to his house. And uh, people love to do that kind of stuff. I've always said, you see the food talking, you hear the food talking, you see the food moving, you want to touch the food and eat the food. Boogie 9288 had that problem. I would have ran a bullet through his head. Three people came by my house, okay? Didn't work out too well, but people love to do that stuff. There was an 89.3 lady. Some guy, she sent an, he sent an email about his dog. She said, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. He came by the house one too many times. Weird, but... It's funny to watch uh, the Steel Told Tar Show sit here and just squeal around. And, you know, now he's on YouTube. He's been over to Rumble. Go ahead and go. No one cares. Uh, you lose. I mean, what an easy job. Common man here in town. Pereiro signed their contracts. Chad Hartman's on 830. Great guy. I like radio. I, I like my I, I like my, um, uh, my comfort food. Where the, where the Steel Told Tar guy used to work at. Last one's there. Push that thing east. You know, compete with 93X. Compete with K-Fan, who's unlistenable in the morning. These guys don't get it. Get a real job. Go make money. I get a paycheck every Friday, both jobs. Where do we get my uncle and selling computers? That's why I'm monetized. That's my little show. That's my bit. But sitting there bitching about another guy and faking a alleged abuse just for people. I love talking about it. I love watching these guys troll each other and get all mad, you know. Go watch the, the video, Troll Under the Bridge. Troll Under the Bridge. It's epic. It's all about don't troll a troll, right? I, I just think this black eye thing just could be all fake. I, I love jumping in the middle of it because just I own the Steel Told Tar Show. You know, dropping the double G hard R, which is very prevalent in people's languages now. And when they do a video game, some NASCAR guy was doing a a video game thing for a thing and I don't know and they're watching him play video game and he yells at the double G hard R to his to his uh, what do you want to call that guy the uh, spotter that people love to do so it's it's such a easy word to say it's unfortunate and I thought we, were, we got past this prejudiced behavior but with Donald J. Trump in 2016 it's gotten worse because he brainwashed the dumbass white boys and I've talked about that brainwashing with Sean Hannity but I, know, I just kind of babbling here but it's just kind of funny the fighting over listens and views and maybe go get an application, boys. That'd be kind of nice. There's plenty of jobs out there. And then your side hustle will be your 
go on a little cruise, go on a little, go on some, go on a cruise. That's what you could do. You with Corey at four albums. So what? And I've argued before of having the name of a tour. I just saw Bruce Springsteen. Only the song "Strong" survived. He entertained me. I paid good money to see the guy. Okay, I put up my channel. You saw it. All this fake drama stuff. I feel sorry for these guys because I can do their job. I can do it. A lot of the guys can't do the other jobs I do. They would, they would never, they could never work in the construction business. They could never work in a, a restaurant because they're too dumb. But they know their their job is slowly going away. Tick tock, tick tock. So they got to make up wise and whatever else for people to come listen to their stuff. But that only lasts for a while. You know, people want to make people laugh. So I don't know. It's the way she goes. But anyways, we can only hope. The old. Chad Zumach, Black Eye. Fake drama, I think. I'm, I'm calling BS. So. No one likes that. Nobody likes onions. I don't care how long I've been podcasting. So what? Just because your past doesn't mean your future when it comes to that. Tom Brady came back and embarrassed himself. He's got seven rings, but the time has come and gone. He moved on. Candyman for my Blackhawks. Got traded to the Rangers. He's a spent condom in the four floors of horrors. And I'm no better. It's a dead channel, but I'll give my opinion on these idiots. You know, Corey doesn't get it. He'll make more money quicker on Spreaker instead of sitting there doing a stupid after orgasm show, which makes I don't understand what that means after show. I don't but see that's Howard Stern. You know, monkey see, monkey do, copy, copy, copy. He's what, three hundred and fifty pounds, Corey? And you're five foot six. Eight out of ten. I love you a long time. See you guys all later. Ciao.